Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forrester, and welcome to a new indie horror game. This one is called Dom Usalok. I probably pronouncing that wrong. It is uh, Russian based in the name, and the developers reached out to me for this game and said, "Hey, we've been developing this, and we would love for you to check it out." They sent me a free Steam key for this. Um, I'm not being paid to make this video, but they did provide the Steam key for free, for full disclosure. Um, but I will be giving my, like, accurate <laughs> and fair representation of the game. Um, but what really caught my eye was the style. It's a point-and-click horror um, in, like, uh, you'll see the overall, like, art style. But it was inspired by, like, Stephen King and other um, horror classics, but set in a, like, 90s post-Soviet Russia. So I thought that'd be very interesting to check out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and click on new game. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Summer 1996. <laughs> oh, hello. Continue E. Grandma. Zenya. 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 Yes. Oh, darn it. What, Grandma? You should go play outside. Such nice weather today. But you sit at home all day long. All summer vacation. Take the trash out when, you, when you'll go. Did you hear me? Zenya! All right, Grandma. All right. I guess. I'm gonna have to go out after all. <laughs> all right, cool. This is sweet. I like this style already. Uh, so this is our character here. He's got his hands in his pockets. Cool guy. Cool guy. Got some posters. Grandma allowed me to hang my old posters. Some of them are from the time when my mom used to live here. Hmm. Let me see if there's other things I can click on. What is this? Oh. Sugared cranberries. The biggest lie in human history. Undersweet powdered sugar hides a gross sour taste. You can't stand it. But some uh, for some unknown reason, Grandma keeps buying it. All right. What do we got here? An old aquarium. There's no fish inside, and it seems there's never been. Okay, what's over here? Oh, I have to move. Oh, interesting. Uh, I've moved in at last. Ever since the accident, Mom's parents took me in. Well, my dad wanted me off his back, to be exact. He still hasn't gotten over it. So what? No one's over it. I miss Mom, too. It's like everybody always tried to get rid of me. Like I'm in the way. It's nice here, of course. In its own way. At least there's no more of this constant screaming and fighting. It's boring here, though. Nothing to do at all. Grandpa gave me a bike, but I still haven't taken it for a spin. There are lots of kids in the yard, but I don't know anybody yet. All I do is read and listen to music. I'm sure it won't be like this for too long. Soon, I will leave this place. I know I will. Hmm. And what's up here? Oh. One time you got sick. Very sick. You fell down and fainted. Mom took you to the big city doctor. He was the only one who diagnosed you with epilepsy. And although you didn't have seizure... For a long time, you kept taking the medicine. It pisses you off. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Mom's guitar. She never got to teach me how to play it. I'll teach you. I know how to play guitar. Um, also, there was a very brief uh, epilepsy warning at the very beginning of the game. Uh, so just want to make sure people are aware of that in case uh, you are potentially uh, triggered by flashing lights. I don't know how often it might come up in this game, but there is potential. Your favorite cassette player. Your parents gave it to you on your last birthday. Since you moved here, you've been listening to music all the time. It would be a good idea to buy some new cassettes. Okay. And then, should I leave? Grandma's right. The weather is really nice today. It is real nice out. Oh, look at my bike. It's just chilling here. Hmm. Okay. I think we're just kind of exploring this outside area. And we should leave out this way. I'm not going out without my knife. Where did I put it? Oh, we gotta find your knife, huh? What's down here? There you are. I guess it should sharpen you up. Okay. Ah, little info button? A switchblade knife. It was a gift from your father. The blade always becomes blunt, and the paint slowly comes off from the plastic, but the gift is still precious for you. Okay. Oh, cool. So it's in my inventory down here, I guess. Uh, and now we can go outside. Go talk to Grandma. All right, hello. What's this, a little radio? Newscaster, the trial for the hostage situation is ongoing. Participants of the summit meeting looked into the issue of nuclear disarmament. 
The president expressed his concern in relation to security issues in the region. The prosecutor's office will take control of the situation regarding the missing people in the region. The dollar exchange rate remained the same. Now over to the weather report. <laughs> okay, let's see, what do we have here? Some book. Okay. Obviously a lot of this is going to be in Russian. Hi. Hello, young man. <laughs> Are you Natasha's grandson? Yes. I'm here for the summer. Ah, nice, nice. All right, go over to those boys over there. But don't misbehave. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hey, it's my bike. What's this on the floor? What did I grab? I apparently just grabbed something, but I don't know what it was. All right. A toy Moskvich car. I used to wish I had one. <laughs> What's this on the floor? Oh, sweet. Oh, oh, sweet old tar. It's a strange thing to be excited about. <laughs> Info. Tar, a vis uh, viscous black matter, a byproduct of oil refining. Naturally, you would have uh, preferred any other chewing gum, tree resin even. But sometimes tar is good enough. That's awful. <laughs> All right. What else do we have around here? I like the exploratory nature of this. It's pretty pretty cool. And... Huh. Oh, just keep walking. Okay, we got a dark car here. Hello, hello. Ah, the neighborhood kids! What up, cool guys? Vadik. Where did you kick... Uh, where did you kick that effing ball to? I kicked? Did you even watch who you were passing to? Go look for it then. Hey dude, have you seen a ball? No. What happened? What do you think? We've just lost a gosh darn ball! Crap. Alright, I'll, I'll help you guys on your mission to find a ball. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, I can go over there. Obviously this is a horror game, so we're just getting the initial things set up here. A dead dragonfly with a t uh, tied string. If a live dragonfly has fed a lot of ants, it will poop out cool little yellow balls. However, one must pity the poor insect, of course. Interesting. What's over here? Old TV? A discarded old TV. They say that a cathode ray tube can explode in one of these. If only I had a firecracker or something. What's up here? Missing child poster. Looks quite old. That does look old. Anything else over here? No. Okay. Mmm. Alright. Let's go into that little alleyway thing that we saw over here. Check it out. Oh, look, another person. Hello. I like your sweater. Girl. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing? You just went through the gypsy gates. What gates? G-Y-P-S-Y. Don't you see those connected poles? You went under them. It's bad luck. I don't believe that kind of BS. Is that so? Do you have a smoke? Um, no, girl. I don't have a smoke. Oh. Crush pack of smokes. You do not smoke and consider smoking stupid, but sometimes cigarette smell and smoke fascinate you. You find special pleasure watching someone blow smoke rings. Okay. And what's down here? Cigarette butts? She been smoking. Cigarette butt. Just a cigarette end. No one know why you picked it up. <laughs> Sick. All right, what's over here? Hey, more kids. More teenagers. Whoa, naked women playing cards. It's kind of self-explanatory, isn't it? Nice. Uh, hey. Hi. <laughs> what you doing? We're building a Halabuda. Halalabuda? What's that? Halabuda. Kesha, explain it to him. Well, um, Kelab <laughs> Halabuda is sort of like our home base. A house outside a house. Though, when you watch Mufith, right? They've got tree houses, right? Well, we've got a Halabuda. Cool. Can I join? We gotta strengthen this somehow. You've got the nails right here. And what am I supposed to hammer them with? With my finger? With your <laughs> Come on, man. Let the figure it out. I think he has a lisp. Guys! Well, um wanna help? Well, you could walk around the yard or something. Look for stuff. If you find anything youthful, <laughs> bring it to us. Kesha, don't just stand there. Come and help. Hey, I found a worker. I'm a foreman indeed. <laughs> okay, I'll try to find something. 
I like this. Rusty Crooked Nail. They say if you step on one of these, then you'll most definitely die of tetanus. <laughs> most definitely, for sure. Um, do, I, do I just pick them up or no? Okay. Uh, I guess I can't go any further that way. We got the magazine, or sorry, playing cards. And then what's up with you? Do I just go in the door? I can't go in the door. You're blocking it. I need to find you some cigarettes. Uh, and I still need to find your guys' ball. No idea where that went. We're doing some point-and-click action over here. Let's take a look. See what we find. This little toy car. This over here. Here's my bike. Bring. Hey, lady. Those, oh, those light up. It doesn't let me access them as of right now, though. So the radio. Can I go left? Mm. No. I don't want to go home yet. I've just stepped out. All right. I wanted to make sure. Doesn't seem like there's anything else over here. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's let's do a little bit more exploring. So I need to find some resources for the kids who are trying to build their. A home outside of a home. I need to find their ball and Can I pull a knife on you? Oh, I can I can use this stuff. Oh, okay. Oh Chew tar. Oh Let's be frank you shouldn't have done this now You have a weird aftertaste in your mouth and something grinds on your teeth. It really tastes like petroleum Oh, okay, so that's gonna be something I can probably use for some of these sections Oh, very, very interesting. <laughs> Am I just going to hold someone up with the knife? <laughs> I feel like that's going to happen. Maybe I can break the TV with the knife. Hmm, no. Chew tar? No. Is there anything else over here? Let me look at this a little bit closer. 1983, this girl went missing. Oh! I didn't realize I could go in here. <laughs> Alright, oh, I see the ball right here, right where my head is. Um... Okay, let's get that ball. Nice, and there's, oh, and here's the ball. Sheesh, it's covered in loogies. <laughs> Gross. An old soccer ball that has been seen better days. It has most definitely collected as much tr uh, street dirt and spit as possible. <laughs> Do I dare explore more? Hmm? Do I just leave? I'm, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> definitely a spooky area. Already. All right, we've got the ball. Let's give it to the these cool kids over here. What up, y'all? I got your ball. Here you go. Is it your ball? Oh, where did you find it? Inside of that entrance there. Well, um, thanks. Here, take this cigarette then. I don't smoke actually. Thanks, dude. Let's play sometime. Nah, I injured my knee my knee last year. Too bad. Hey, let's do one round of penalties. Okay, well, I got a cigarette for the girl now. So let's go over here, let's give her a nice cigarette. Don't smoke, kids, don't smoke. <laughs> there you go. Yes, you're the man. You're welcome. Why haven't I seen you here before? I've only just moved here. Ah, cool. I'm Bita, by the way, and I'm Zenya. Do you live here? Nope, just hanging out. Want some sunflower seeds? Put your hands out. No thanks. I'm good. I've got my appendix out recently. Oh. Okay, whatever. And like, you got a scar and everything? Yep. <laughs> Wanna see? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Check this out. Holy moly! It's huge! <laughs> so cool! Alright, Xenia. See you around. Bye! <laughs> I love that. Alright, let's go into... Dang. I better not get burned. Okay. What's in here? Hmm, what do we have here? Maybe we have some calcium carbide. A white powder similar to chalk. Welders often leave it behind. It is said to be highly explosive if it comes in contact with water. Ooh, okay. So I need to find some water to explode the TV, I believe. Let's see, was there anything else over here with these guys? Like, maybe I can give you, uh... Calcium carbide? No. Uh, no. What about chewed tar? You guys want any chewed tar? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> can I combine these? No. 
All right, I'm gonna try this on the TV now. This is cool. I like the I like the puzzle style of this, and already the atmosphere is very interesting. All right, to the TV we go. Let's see if we can figure out what to do with it. All right, calcium carbide. No. How about the chewed tart? No, nothing. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I can't knife it. Maybe I am supposed to. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this area at all. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Dear Grisha, no words could describe how happy I was when I got the news from you. How are you? How are Tatiana and the children? I'm doing well. Here in America, all of my and uh, Antonina's dreams came true. It was pretty rough in the beginning, but you know how Tanya is. She always knows how to cheer me up. Everything is great at the moment. I got a good job and in the middle of writing my dissertation now. Tanya works in publishing and Olya has already started school. I don't regret that we moved here. You know, ever since I've left, I often think of you. Our friendship, the Institute. It's kind of wrong to read someone else's letter, but almost always interesting. <laughs> True debt. True debt. Okay, so same stuff there. I'm trying to figure out where I can get some water then. Um, calcium carbide. <laughs> Maybe I put the chewed tar on the... No. <laughs> okay, TV, what do you want me to do? You don't want the knife. You don't want the tar. And you don't want the calcium carbide. Can't combine the two of those. So calcium plus water makes explosives. So I gotta find some type of thingy thing collect water. Oh, the kids are gone. Interesting. Where did they go? Maybe they're back at my uh, apartment. Guess we can find out. That's weird. Weird noises. Is the woman still here? She is. <laughs> Bring. Uh, you want some calcium carbide? <laughs> you want some chewed tar? How about a knife? <laughs> nope, none of it. Okay, nothing with the book. Can I go back inside? Ooh, doesn't even give me the option anymore. Okay, hmm, maybe I can check the trash can? No. We're learning here, we're learning. Wait, the clothes are a point of interest. So maybe I can do something with, I can't do it. At least not when I'm being watched. Okay, so I'm supposed to cut the clothes at some point. Not yet, though. Later on. Maybe I should go back into the room with the steam coming out. Maybe I can use my calcium carbide there? Since I like that's where I got it from? That's my only thought on this. Okay, let's go back through this way. I guess we can go back in here. Err. Okay, uh, nothing there. Maybe chew tar. <gasps> hey, there. That's it. Hmm. What's that over there? Over where? A hammer. Almost as good as new. Nice. That's solid. Very spooky down here. Let's go ahead and leave. <laughs> All right, well, I got a hammer. Um, I'm assuming I need to smash the TV with that or give it to them. Oh, I give it to them. Guys, do you need a hammer? Oh, we'll need that. Thanks. Here you go. And you were worrying. Happy now? Somewhat. <laughs> we also got to tie this crap up. Maybe with some kind of rope or twine. Does anyone have any water, guys? I'm freaking thirsty. <laughs> but don't want to go home to get some. Sure, man. Here, take this bottle. Thanks. Are you gonna drink that? Yeah, why? With Leisha's spit in there? <laughs> Ew! What's the big deal? <laughs> What's the big deal? <laughs> Dude! Go ahead then and make out with him, why don't you? <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I love this. I love the commentary in this. I keep wanting to click on that, but it's just the woman, the, the girl's playing cards. <laughs> no thank you. Not in this game. All right, let's keep on moving to the right. Let's go to the TV, combine water, combine the calci calcium carbide. Let's blow that TV up. Bottle of 
Water? Calcium carbide. Oh, oh, oh! Holy crap! Now everyone will come running here. I gotta get out of here. Wait, I need I wanna look at it. Should I go inside? I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> Can I actually go somewhere now? No. <laughs> this is scary. Alright, well let's just go back inside. See y'all later. I don't know why <laughs> why I blew that up out of other than pure enjoyment and entertainment for myself. <laughs> Alright, um Oh hi. Jesus Christ. What was that noise? Uh I'm gonna lie. I don't know. I didn't hear anything. What nonsense? Are you deaf? Haven't you heard that loud bang? The whole yard could hear it. Dot dot dot. No doubt it's that blonde little witch. What mischief did she get into now? Only devil knows what's in her head. <laughs> well, sorry I blamed it on her. What was it, Greta or Beta? Beta was her name. It's like B-E-A-T-A. -A. Alright, now we can go to the clothesline. And let's snatch it. Give me all of your clothing. <laughs> it's not something I'm proud of, but what can you do? <laughs> Wait, why do I need it? Um, okay. So we've got all this. There's a pile of clothes now. No, I'm not stealing underwear. <laughs> That's fair. Bing, bing. All right, now I think we can go back to the kids that we're working on. I'm just gonna call it a fort <laughs> at this point. And I think the rope is what they needed to help finish building it. All right, hop on in. Keep on moving forward. So far we're still in expositions phase. So thank you all for sticking around while we get through this first. Close line. Were you looking for a rope? Yes! This is exactly what we need. Where do you even find all this stuff? Guys, didn't you hear that? Some kind of popping sound. As in something exploding? <laughs> what do you care? <laughs> well, I think it didn't turn out so bad. For sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> There's room for improvement, of course. And I think it's cool. We're awesome. <laughs> Dasha. Hey, suckers, what's up? Hi, Dasha. You're the sucker. And who are you? It's Zenya. He's just moved here. We're building a Halabuda. You've been building that for a week. Well, we're almost done. Fine. Who's up for hide and seek? Let's do it. Who's going to be it? Rock, paper, scissors will we'll settle this. Remember, who swings ahead gives good at. One, two, three. Uh, scissors. Haha, <laughs> you loth. <laughs> You're it. But he doesn't even know the yard that well. Perfect, he gets to explore it now. <laughs> no hiding inside the buildings and garages. Okay, so 10, nine, eight, seven, no peeking. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> oh, it is very steamy. Uh, okay, oh, okay. I don't know why she scared me. Hi! I got you. Haha. <laughs> Good job. Now look for those two. Hey, how did you slip past me? Just like that. You gotta have an act for these kinds of things. All right, that's fair. This is fun, this is a great adventure. Doing some hide and seek here. I saw where he went, but I won't tell you. <laughs> Thanks. So no hiding in homes, no hiding in garages. Ooh, I can go over here now. What? Oh, this is interesting. Leosha. Oh, hi. Look. House of Mermaids is open. Um, I thought it was always closed. What's so special about this barn anyway? It has a pretty bad history. Mom told me that somebody brought Karina in here and... That's not true! Your mom doesn't know what she's talking about. As if you know everything. I do not know everything. But what I do know is that no one brought Karina here. She disappeared on her way home. Who's this Karina? Also, 
it's getting a little bit difficult to keep track of the characters. So in the bottom left, obviously, is the name of the characters. It's in yellow, so it might be a little bit hard to see, but uh, I'm trying my best to give a slightly different voice to them. Dasha, a girl that used to live here and then vanished. Xenia is me. Ah, the one from the missing posters. I saw that. Oh, I did see that. That's right. It happened a year ago. And all your mom cares about is spreading rumors, you lispy. <laughs> shut, shut up, you stupid cow. Give it a break, guys. Zenya, so what is wrong with this barn? A few years ago, a boy from the yard next to ours got locked up inside this barn by a bunch of bullies for the whole night, all alone. Yep, but no one knew. His parents were looking for him, but couldn't find him. Long story short, the next morning he managed to get out of here somehow. somehow. But he was already acting weird. What do you mean? Hell if I know. Maybe because he got scared. Or something. But he kept saying something about mermaids. Yes, like he could see mermaids. Talk to them. Yep, and since then he's never been hanging out in the yard anymore. After that, his whole family moved away. So that's what happened. Yeah, pretty awesome story. <laughs> well, are we going in? <laughs> you bet your butt we're going in. Oh, boy. Question mark, question mark. It's so dark in here. Does anyone have a flashlight? Or matches? We should have brought some. Be careful not to trip down the stairs. Ew, there's something wet on the floor. <laughs> I can't see anything. Ew, I stepped on it. It's just water trickling down. My eyes are slowly adjusting. I think I found something. Watch your step. Oh! <laughs> I love this. This is great. This is great. I... Ew, ew, ew! I walked into a spider web! That's literally me. I walk into spider webs all the time. Somehow my mouth is always open, and it will just get in my mouth. I'm like... <laughs> and I'm just freaking out. <laughs> okay. What's this? Hmm. Tin soldiers. All-time classic. The plastic ones break in the heat of a battle, lose their weapons and limbs. But these, a fairy tale about them, was not written for nothing. Hmm. Okay. Let's explore this uh, little place here. What's this? Shoes, ice skates, hockey skates. You do not like to play on ice. Once you fell and hurt your knee, the healing took a long time. Try them on, why don't you? Da -da -da. Seriously, what are we doing here? <laughs> All right, I gotta remember Kesha has the lisp. Lisp. What's up with you? Leosha, there's so much junk here. I found a cartridge for the console. Is all of this really up for grabs? Wait, it just said... Zinya, and what is this? Whoa! It's a magic ball, I've seen this before. In movies. Let's ask it a question. About what? Well, about the future. You ask a question, and it will answer you. Hmm. Tell me, magic ball. When will I die? No, you're doing it wrong! <laughs> it can only answer yes or no. They can also answer sometimes, or maybe, or try again another time. Hmm. My god, you're slow. <laughs> well, I f ask him. <laughs> ask it if I become an oligarch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, now magic ball. Tell me, will Kesha become an oligarch? <laughs> Don't count on it. <laughs> F you, ball. <laughs> wait, 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 can you ask it? It's definitely broken. <laughs> I love that. Magic 8 Ball, a fortune telling ball, a toy that will answer your questions. A silly way to predict the future. I love Magic 8 Balls, they're always funny. Uh, anything else over here that I can explore? I'll talk to you. Dasha. Dasha? Probably Dasha. Uh, I wonder what's inside these jars. I wonder too. <gasps> Calendar. Hmm. Mm. I, my mind wanted to try to pronounce whatever this is. How do you pronounce Russian? Russian characters are very strange. Um, th that's all I can say. They're just very strange compared to the English uh, reading of them. So it's like you've got backwards letters and then some letters have completely different pronunciation from other letters. It's, it's very odd. It's very odd. Mechanical desk calendar. It is as confusing as it is old and even less convenient. Can only be used by a primeval granny or a retrograde person. Although you you do not even know what retrograde means. <laughs> Sweet. Oh my god. Okay, that scared me. <laughs> hey! 
Zenya! Is he alive? Hold on! We'll get you out of here! Now just... Just hold on! Okay. Crap. My knee. Hope I didn't break any bones. Da da da. What is this place? Oh boy. Well, I fell down a hole! <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Okay, I'm, lo I'm loving this development so far. Ooh! Old wristwatch. The strap is long lost. Your grandfather has a pair like this one. But even he does not wear it. Looks like it's stuck forever. Ooh, this is cool. I love these old style watches. Um, in fact, I actually have like a Soviet era style watch, which is really cool. It's like 24 hours. So it has night and day cycles. Um, got it off Etsy. <laughs> uh, hello? Zenya! Hey! <laughs> there you are. Are you okay? We thought you hit your head. We lowered you a stepladder. What? What is this place? Same question on my mind. Excellent! <laughs> the smell here is even worse. What's that? <laughs> are you okay, Zenya? Yes, I'm fine. Well, great. The rescue operation was successful. <laughs> I propose. Is anyone going to explain to me what is this crap? Looks like an entrance to some kind of cave? Or a shaft? Hey, I propose we pay no attention to the crappy shaft and hurry to get the hell out of here right. Can you hear that? What? Some kind of sound is coming from there. I hear something too. Maybe it's the wind? Guys. Let's not. <laughs> Wait. Don't get too close, Dasha. Ooh. <laughs> Did you hear that? Run. Dot, dot, dot. Heavy breathing. <sighs> what? What? What's th that? I don't know. But you heard that too, right? And to make matters worse, it started to rain. Why are you such pussies? <laughs> it was only thunder. One clap of thunder and you're already crapping yourselves. Oh yeah? Why did you run then? Everyone ran, so I ran too. I guess it really was just thunder. What did you think? All right, I don't know about you, but I'm not about to get soaked. See ya, sissies. Bye, Dasha. Bye. <laughs> so long, sorry, Dasha, Dasha. Kesha, she pisses, pisses me off. Uh, okay. I'm gonna dip too. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> Got covered in spider web too. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. Well, are you okay? Okay, I guess. Did you even know? That you got some tunnels under the yard? Of course not. So weird. Alright, let's go home. Hmm. Very strange. The next day! Alright. The very next day. <laughs> Ah, ah, Dasha. No, that's... Oh, no, I'm Zinya. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Where are you going? I'm, I'm going to try to give more pronounced voices to them. I'm going to come up with things here on the fly. To the library. Zenya's going to be normal voice. Grandpa gave me a bike, but I practically never ride it. What about you? Do you have a bike? Want to drive there together? I have one, but I can't join. I'm going to my art school. I take classes there. Ah, in that case, let's hang out this evening. Okay. See you later, Zenya. Nice, going on a date later. <laughs> Loading. I think it's here. Whew. What a heat, it's exhausting. Ah, cool. No, I only got here. First, I gotta take the books. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's explore around here. Hmm. Uh, call me for something. <laughs> What's this? I'm thirsty. This piece of crap is out of service. As usual. Hmm. Okay. I love this. This is this is fun so far. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know I am. Uh, I was asking the developers. They said it's about... It depends on how much you play or how quickly you go through it, but about three to four hours. Um, so I'd probably do like yeah, two or three episodes of this. Maybe four. 
it kind of depends on where I do the stopping point for each of these. So I can either go inside of here, uh, something Hoteka. Man, I wish I understood at least a, a slight bit of Russian. <laughs> so I can help try to read some of this stuff. Kid, hey, hey dude, what do you want? Have you seen a little kid around here? A five or six year old boy, a fair one in a blue t-shirt? Hmm. No, I haven't seen anyone around. I'm looking for my brother. Crap. We were in the park. Mom stuck him with me. I took my eyes off him for a minute. That little crap ran away. Oh. Now he's hiding somewhere from me. When I find him, I'll kill the guy. <laughs> nice. All right, we got a little chess board here. Hmm. Chess set. Looks like someone forgot this. Used to play chess a lot with your father. Taught you to get a checkmate in three moves. Fortunately, that strategy rarely worked. I love that. Uh, okay, I should get the books first. Ah, yes. Okay, I'm back to the library. Boop, boom. Okay, what what the heck is this little thing? <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Book. Tomac. Ma. Ma. Interesting. Hello. Masha. Hi. Hi, what are you reading? Nothing interesting. Hey, I haven't seen you here before. Did you move here recently? Yeah. I came to visit my grandma for the summer. I'm Zenya. I came here to get some books to read. Well, I'm Masha. Ask the librarian about the books. Okay, thanks. Nice to meet you, Masha. Hey, wait. Zenya, listen. Could you fill it fill it in for me? Please? The girl shyly hands you a notebook covered with doodles. It's a questionnaire. There are ten questions. The first two questions are quite simple. But you have to give some thought to the other eight. Why not? Sure, let's do it. Yay! Great! Thank you. So, um, let's go! Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so the first question. Oh, oh, she's asking questions. What do you want to be when you grow up? Mmm. Archaeologist, pilot, teacher, musician. Musician, then? Yeah, what about it? Nothing. Which instrument do you play? Well, I play guitar a little bit. I used to take lessons in my hometown. But not for long. Cool. <laughs> okay, now the second question. What do you like the most? Movies, music, books, video games. Well, all the boys are into them. <laughs> do you have a computer? I had one. At my parents' home. But here, no. I see. Let's continue. <laughs> do you have a favorite animal? Dog, rat, cat, or fish? <laughs> I'm gonna just go with rat. <laughs> a rat? Really? I think they're gross and spread disease. And also they can survive a nuclear blast. <laughs> Rats are cool. Well, as you wish. What's your favorite book? Ivanhoe, White Fang, Solaris, Scarecrow. Let's just click Solaris. So you like science fiction, huh? Yep. I like to read that sometimes too. Have you read Roadside Picnic? You bet I have. I love the uh, Strugatsky brothers. Cool. Okay, what do we got next? The whole questionnaire here. What is your favorite movie? Indiana Jones, Terminator, Balto, or Home Alone? You know what, I don't know if I've ever seen Balto. I've seen Indiana Jones, Terminator, and Home Alone. Um, mm, Home Alone is a classic. <laughs> These are all classics. Um, Go with Indiana Jones. Mom says Harrison Ford is a charmer. <laughs> Masha, what's your favorite school subject? Geography, history, German, physics. I do physics. So you're a science buff. Nah, I just like experiments and stuff. I also had a great teacher in my previous school. Ah, well clearly you haven't met Zoya uh, Mikhail Lovna yet. Well, well, now the most interesting part. Do you believe in the afterlife? Yes. I knew it! <laughs> Don't you believe? Well, a little bit. And the last question... What is your biggest fear in life? Drowning? Snakes? Mirrors? Oh. I just realized what's going on. I think this is, uh... I think this is setting up the story for us. The horror. And whatever we choose for these is going to turn into the horror elements. Um, hmm. 
Ooh. Honestly, drowning is freaky. Ticks? No. You can just take a tick out. Uh, snakes? Snakes are a little freaky, but, like, have you ever touched, like, a pet snake? They're like, you can, like, pet them. They're nice. Um, mirrors? I mean, unless you're, like, a creepy, crazy clown funhouse, killer clown funhouse, mirrors are fine. I'm gonna do drowning. I can't swim, too. No, I can. It's just, I'm afraid of suffocating. Mm-hmm, I see. <laughs> well, that was it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I actually enjoyed it. Cool. <laughs> it's interesting questionnaire. Hello, librarian. Librarian. Hello. Dot, dot, dot. Speak. Cough. <clears throat> <sighs> I'm listening. <laughs> I'd like to get the books from the summer syllabus. First and last name. You see, I've just moved here, so I don't think that I... Take a card. Fill it in. There's a pen on the desk. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, it's better to do as a library instead. Okay. Wait, where's the pen? Is the, is the desk over here? It's probably over here. Uh, desk? I don't see no... Oh, it's the cat. <laughs> the cat has a pen. All right. Filled out my library card. Give it back to the library. Here we go. It's go time. Here you go. I filled it out. Hope everything is correct. All right. Give me the reading list. Do you have it with you? Um, I think I left it at home. Don't waste my time, young man. You know perfectly well that you can't get the books without a reading list. You can come when you have the list. Crap. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'll be right back. Dang it. I got to go all the way back home just to get my reading list. How unfortunate. Can I go this way now? Hmm, no. Hey, librarian, you suck. <laughs> so sassy. Also, I noticed there's some screen tearing on my screen. I don't know if it's coming through on the recording. Uh, it's just, I don't have any settings for that, but there is some slight tearing that I can see. Again, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Ooh, I've got a little map now. Library or home? Let's go home. Nice and easy. Get my workout in. Go for that bike ride. All right. Time to get my reading list. Get all of our library stuff. I have a feeling that this is, I'm not gonna get my books and that this is gonna turn into more horror. More horror. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, hey. Hi. There you go again. Zenya, isn't it? The dude with a scar on his belly. <laughs> I love Beta. Beta. Beta? I'm gonna say mm, Beta. What are you up to? Nothing. Hanging out. Want to hang out together? I have to go back to the library. No, hang out with her, dude. We can meet afterwards. Okay. <laughs> Sick. Thanks, Beta. What do you got there? More cigarettes? Stop smoking! Bad for your health. Bad for your lungs. Bad for the environment. All right, let's go inside. So, where would I put that list? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's inside of your guitar. There's the pills. Do I have a little compartment somewhere? Is it? Under my cabinet? In here? Um. Oh, yeah, there it is. And here's the list. How could I have forgotten it? Okay, it's time to go back. Nice. Got my uh, cranberry sugar <laughs> pills. <laughs> Whatever the heck those are. Peter just left. Dang. Aw. <laughs> Leaving their cigarettes behind. All right, let's take my bike. Let's go on. Wait, how can I... Is this not my bike? My bike's probably over here, huh? It's my theme song. <laughs> Library time! Let's go! Let's go! Thank you so much for playing my game. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's go back in. Hello, librarian lady. I got your list. You're welcome. You again, young man. Yes, I've brought the list. There you go. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, I just have to wait for her. Can I go over here now? Ooh, I can. Look at this. Look at this giant seal of approval for reading books. She can be so mad that I'm just exploring. Oh, what's this? Wow. 
that's that's long. The history of our region dates back more than 300 years. It is known, however, that nomadic people lived here and even earlier than that. Having gone through the cogwheels of the revolution and the hardships of the Civil War, the famine of the 20s and then the 40s, the horrors of the German occupation, uh, collaborationism, the land here is stained with blood, soaked with it. Gruesome events have come to a halt. In 1955, a new era was marked by the construction of M. V. Frunz Research Institute of Applied Physics. The new establishment proved to be monumental, not only for the town, but also for the entire region. Shortly securing the status of a closed town and going through changes in administrative territorial structures have contributed to complete isolation of the town from the outside world. Although it is not appropriate to talk about this fact, even to this day, when there are no longer closed administrative divisions, nor the institute or the tribe Uyen, we still remain hostages and prisoners to the biting nature of this place. We are erased into steppe and camp dust. I hope that this book will help us understand ourselves and, if possible, allow us to get an objective look at this complex and controversial history. Interesting. Someone else, uh, there's another mention of the Institute in one of the letters uh, that I found earlier. Look at that. Even in this godforsaken library, there's a computer. I wonder, does it even work? Hmm, the computer of the 90s. What do you want? Let's turn on. Wasn't ready for that. Oh, what? Oh, this is so cool. I think it was supposed to be the full screen. I don't know why it's just in the top left. But let's, uh, let's do one for news. Uh, wow, this is so cool. Let's do murder of a crime boss. This is um, MS-DOS, green screen. Horrific news has shaken the community. Early Saturday morning, a famous businessman was shot right in the city center. According to witnesses, there were two shooters. The criminals are yet to be identified. Uh, let's, let's go back. Uh, shoot. Uh, what is the code to go back? I think it's just back. Reformist cannibals? The millennium problem, myth or reality? Who needs the internet? <laughs> Shakhtar Gazovic. 3 0. Oh, let's do 2. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's go back. And what's the next one here? Millennium Prime. Doesn't want me to go that one. Who needs the internet? Can't do that one. What's number 5? Can't do that one. Let's go back again. This is scary. <laughs> okay. Hello? Um. Oh, that's the instructions. Next, back, or exit. Um, what happens if I just select like next? Nothing. Two catalog. Oh. Next? No. Okay. Back. Three for ads. This is cool. What am I trying to find here? Taxi in and out of town. Repair shop for pipes, watches, and samovars. Fortune telling, love, and money spells. <laughs> Ask for Mother Yevdotya. Uh, coffins and other woodwork. Plumber uh, Mikhail. Let's go back. Wait. What about next? Nope. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, what was number four? Archive. <laughs> Obituary of P.F. Chernigo. Uh, the stench from hell. Wait, let's do number one. Let's do number two. The stench from hell. This is what the inhabitants of uh, Sovetsky... Sovetskij... Uh, district call an unpleasant smell coming from the ground. According to the citizens, the fault lies uh, with the unfinished construction of a subway station, the plan of which was developed in the 60s, but has not been realized yet. Uh, there's always a smell, but lately it has become impossible to breathe. Citizens complain while the council shrugs their shoulders. The maintenance crew have inspected the site three times, but failed to detect the source of the aroma. However, this does not change the facts of the matter. The so uh, Soviet Skij District Administration declined to comment on the situation. Okay. I'm assuming... Okay, now it's uh, doubled up on the screen, so apologize if that's a little weird. Number three, Living Sea in the Dead Sea. Okay, let's try number four. Five? Six? Seven? And there's no eight. Let's just go ahead and go back. Let's play some games. <laughs> okay, no games. Let's go back. Uh, sorry. Let's uh, go ahead and exit. Nice. 
Thanks. Fine. Crap. <laughs> How much time do I have? Maybe that woman is already back with my books. <laughs> that was interesting. That was cool. I like that. MS DOS green screen. Some like propaganda posters and everything from the 90s. There's always like very uh, like seals and um, I guess depictions of the. I don't know the best way to describe it. Like the Russian. Uh, not union, but like the Russian party. Librarian, well, where had you gone, young man? <laughs> we don't have your books. Nor will I have them in the foreseeable future. What do you mean you don't have them? Like at all? Not one book? All of them are checked out, young man. First, you take the books and then you never return them. So when you do that, this happens. <laughs> oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> You are no help! <laughs> Alright, see you later. I can talk to you again. Any success? Masha? Nope. Didn't give me the books. Hmm, weird. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go. See you later. Sure, bye. <laughs> Thanks, Masha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your- I'm gonna steal your pen! <laughs> oh, hi. Kesha, hi! Hmm, hi. Where are you going? Nowhere. To the optometrists. <laughs> ah. Is that your bike over there? It's mine. Why? Never mind. Okay, see ya. Uh. Hey, let's hang out tonight. Oh. Oh. Okay then. Bye. Uh, is my bike just destroyed or is it gone or something? Oh, where'd the guy go? I left my bike on the other side. I have to go back there. Oh, okay. I just want to explore. I just want to explore. <laughs> this is great. Oh. Who's that? Hey, kid. Oh, what the heck? I just noticed the other person just appeared. Or were they already there? Vasya. Your bike? Well, yeah. Spits out seeds. <laughs> Looks pretty slick. Street child. Hey, let me have a go. For real. I can't. I'm in a rush. Hey, don't BS me. Just... Don't get greedy now. It's not what a man does. Hey, check out this mother effer's watch! Well, what are you? Are you a man or what? <laughs> you know what they do to the greedy ones? Da -da -da. Well, you're about to find out. Oh, am I getting beat up? Oh, I just got beat up. Masha's here to save me. Jesus Christ, Senya! What happened to you? Nothing. I fell... on someone's fists? <laughs> Tell me already! What did they look like? Well, one of them was this big guy, super jacked. I'm being serious, Senya. What? I don't know. They were normal. One of them had a shaved head. Another one was tall. In ripped clothing? Yeah. Ah, I know them. Local drunks kids. They're basically street kids. <laughs> Dirtbags. Always stealing from old ladies or doing other stuff. Usually hang at ruins. What's ruins? There's an abandoned building. It used to be a boarding school or something. Hey, you aren't going there, are you? What else am I supposed to do? They stole my bike. Oh, my bike. My grandpa gave it to me. I can't go home without my bike. Are you stupid? Haven't you had enough? They could kill you. They won't kill me. If they won't kill you, they'll make you a cripple then. <laughs> I know. Masha, listen. Can you show me where those ruins are? Are you a complete idiot? <laughs> I love this. Also, time for a little Coca-Cola break. He's watching Disney Channel? <laughs> That's copyrighted material. Okay, Mom. You got soaking wet yesterday. Now you will catch a cold. Everything's fine, Mom. Oh, I've got to go now. The dinner is in the fridge. I've made the chicken just the way you like it. Put it on the stove and heat it up. Just for three to five minutes, but not longer. I know, Mom. Good. So, I'll go and give Aunt Sveta a shot. And then I need to stop by work. That is why... Mom, just go! Don't worry! Oh, my son. Ever since Karina went missing, I feel so worried. Everything will be all right. Dot, dot, dot. I love you, my bunny. I know, Mom. Me too. 
Right, I'm going. Call me in case anything happens. <sighs> I'm sick of the TV. Should I play the cartridge game that I found? Where did I put it? Oh, we're playing as him now. This is cool. Oh, is this a little kitty? <gasps> Can I pet the cat? Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Purse while dreaming. <laughs> so wholesome. <gasps> cartridge. What is it? Cartridge found in the House of Mermaids. An unusual and interesting find. The meaning behind the number 17 remains a mystery. Hmm. Interesting. What is this? <gasps> game and Watch. The Wolf and Eggs. This portable game is hopelessly outdated. You have inherited it from your older cousin. The Wolf really catches eggs. That's it. Rumor has it, if you score a thousand points, you can watch a cartoon on the small screen. However, one can hardly believe it. <laughs> I love that. Okay. What's next? Questions and answers. Some phrases are written in a different handwriting. Uh, what is your name? Alexi. How old are you? 12 years old. Who is your best homeboy? Kesha! <laughs> who do you want to become when you grow up? A racer. A car mechanic. Oh, who do your parents... Oh, what do your parents do is what I'm supposed to say. My mom is a nurse. What do you love? Collecting, video games, pasta, and cheese. What would you change about yourself? My weight. What is your favorite animal? My cat. What is your favorite movie? Armor of God. What is your favorite book? There isn't one. What's the best school subject? Biology. Do you believe in the afterlife? Yes. Do you have a secret? Yes, Kesha loves the smell of my farts. BS. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Ghosts. What is this coin? I love the BMW uh, S series. That's cool. Donald Duck. I love this. This is so cool. We're getting all these little relics. An old history textbook. You've never returned it. <laughs> so he's a perpetrator of the library scam. I want to put the cat again. Okay, anything else over here I should interact with before I put the cartridge in? Nah. I want to play the cartridge game that I found. Okay. All right, let's go and put it in. C tapped. C T A P T. Okay. This is loud. It's extremely loud. I'm gonna take uh, half of my headphones off because it is very loud. Okay. What is going on? It's like subliminal messaging. Um, okay. <laughs> this is freaky. <laughs> is ringing well 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 we're, we're never playing that game <laughs> ever again never again never again <laughs> all right well let's go and exit <laughs> hello <laughs> we got an old piano i love these upright pianos i want to play it front door is open did mom really forget to lock it oh oh no oh no <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Oh, should I answer the phone? Should I leave? Oh, it's the phone. Hello? Da, da, da. What the hell? Are the fuses blown? Again? F. Oh, no. Now I gotta go to the attic. I have to see what's up with that fuse box. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Hey, look at that. 1,001 cheat codes and passwords for console games. An irreplaceable book. Great luck to find or buy one. However, most of the passwords do not work. <laughs> and half the games you have not even played, but nonetheless. I love this. We've got Echo the Dolphin, Snow White and Seven Doors, and I can't really tell what that game is supposed to be. Sega. Ega. <laughs> this is great. Oh, this is freaky. Hello. An old notice about hot water shutoff with a typo. You are horrified to remember the heated pot and bathing with a diaper. I don't know what I'm walking into here. Do I just go in here? It's so dark in here. Oh, Laosha is not gonna be making it. I should have brought a flashlight. Crap. 
You know, why you gotta be so stupid? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, this isn't gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. Kitty! Oh, Kitty! Kitty's up here! What the heck? Crap! How did you even... <sighs> Alright. Don't move! I need to turn it off. Just don't get electrocuted! Uh... There you go. What the F? What? Kitty? Hmm. There's a bundle in the fridge. A bundle? VHS tape? And a note? What the hell is going on here? Da da da. We better go home, kitty! Okay. <laughs> Take the kitty and go! Just run as fast as you can. Hmm. That's it. Hey, uh, Cezanova. Are you already done? Yep. Well, um, looks really nice. Yeah, I'm happy with it too. I guess it's just that kind of day for me. A lucky one. Yep. And by the way, listen, uh, Cezanova. I was thinking, do you want to go to the movies? Or to a calf? Do you want to? She just cuts you. Uh, cuts you. Cuts you. Tell me one thing. What for? Well, like I know, everywhere. Go oh, everyone goes there. Let's go too. Sorry, that was uh, that was my bad. Was <laughs> Eric was so bad on that. Sophie, what is it? Uh, cuts you. Got rejected again, didn't you? Only if you could be a little taller. Like 10 centimeters taller. Shut your freaking pie hole, Laria Nova. Why do you bother me? You should invite Sophie instead. Like hell I will. Oh, I'm playing as her now. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is weird. Oh, come on. Don't pout, Kachev. I'm not pouting. Let's go then. Do you mean to the movies? Yep. But not today. Tomorrow's better. Okay, let's go tomorrow. So, I'll give you a call then? Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna go over there yet. I wanna explore this little art studio. Old camera, looks like it belonged to the photography club. Fortunately, the photo lab got closed a long time ago and the members let go. Anything else? No. Hey there. Sophie, how's it going? Have a look yourself. What do you think? You see a still life painting. It is not bad. However, you would not call it good either. <laughs> The painting lacks a special spark. Although you can tell that the girl has put a lot of effort into it. Hm. Flatter her. I think it's coming out great. Really? Gosh, thank you so much. I hope Maria uh, Sergevna likes it too. I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. What do we got over here? We got a bust. We got a exit. Yeah, let's go this way. Maria Sergevna hasn't come back yet. I can't leave until this class is over. Oh, okay. Oh, Dasha, since you've decided to stretch your legs, would you mind giving me the turpentine? Yes, sure. I think I saw a bottle in the cupboard. At the other end of the classroom. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Not over here, right? No, complete other end. See you later. Wait, ah, there it is. Nice, it smells pretty cool. Let me take a look. Oh, pink! Turpentine, a yellowish oil substance with a smell of pine needles. Cool. All right, here you go. Here's your turpentine for your painting. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, Maria. All right, everybody. Is everyone done? Good job. You know your assignment. I'll see you next week. Okay, nice quick. Yes, mom. I'm done with the art class. I'm coming home. No, mom. Yes, fine. Of course, I'm already at the bus stop. I'll be there soon. Love you too, Mom. Bye. I really love how they're developing each little individual character story. It's almost like a... Uh, <clears throat> I, the, the one that's in my mind is Stranger Things, just because the intro piece was like... Had the red text title, but following a group of like teenagers or young adults or like kids through a horror environment is very interesting. It's a, it's a cool touch. Alright, go to the bus stop. 
just chill out here? Seems like it. I can't move anywhere. Um, to hell with it. I'll walk. <laughs> All right, no waiting on the bus. No way, no how. Ooh, maybe not the best idea. Nice. <laughs> uh, Dash is gonna run into some trouble here. Oh, hey. This dude's just peeing on the wall. <laughs> Demo B. Hey, you. Hey. Cord, just get over here. Don't be scared. We won't hurt you. Want some beer? Uh. Be silent. Why are you so nervous? My brother returned from deployment. From war. Protected people like you from those Chechens. And you think you're too good to drink beer with us? Hey, bro, just leave it. No, hold on. I want to put some things straight. Well, do you respect my brother or what? I'm going to continue to stay silent. Now what? Going to play hard to get? Hey, come here. Mm, no thanks. I'm going to go through here. <laughs> Dang it, Tasha. What did you get yourself into this time? Oh, this is not good. Oh, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> oh no. Dasha, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta protect yourself. It's a dead end. Why do I have to be so unlucky? The rain is picking up. Can I jump through the car window? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm, maybe I should have been aggressive. Maybe? Can I take the bricks? Just take a brick. Just smack somebody. Wait, where do I go? Can I go through here? Can I break this? I'm trying to see what I can interact with. There's nothing to interact with. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Wait, I thought I saw. I thought I just saw something. Oh, here we go. Hmm. I think there's a screwdriver in the front seat. How do I reach it though? Let's go through the back. Maybe. Uh, mm, oh, now let's grab a brick. Probably didn't let us grab it until we uh, interacted with that. Yes. Perfect. Hmm. I guess just one brick. Brick, it's heavy enough to break someone's window or head. I think I'd like the brick rather than the screwdriver. I'd rather have both. All right, let's break this car window. And now, not to cut myself. Just careful. Come here, screwdriver. Ugh. Got it. Old screwdriver, simple and handy tool. You can tighten and loosen screws or bolts. Although you do not really know the difference between those two. Okay. All right, now where do I go? Gotcha. Crap. Where did she go? Oh God. What a stench. Oh, this is what we read about. Da da da. Where am I? Oh, I don't like this place. <laughs> All right, all right, this is getting a little, this is getting a little spooky. Do I go left or go right? I feel like I should go right first. Hmm, let me go left. Okay, well, go out that door. The entrance is boarded up. I can't rip them off with my bare hands. Okay, new TV, old advertisement. What is that from like the, probably like the, 50s? 60s? Maybe? 60s? The 60s. What's in here? Oh, I'm just going deeper into this place. Veterinary report. The observed defect is an encapsulated abscess that can occur after an injection. It rarely occurs during vaccination or treatment of an animal. Judging by the condition of the abscess, this is an, uh, this is an old information. Oh, sorry. This is an old formation, i.e. the injection was made long ago and the drug has already been cleared from the system. It should also be noted that the abscess is not an infectious disease, so such meat is not dangerous for human consumption. Accordingly, the entire batch of beef possesses no threat. It is not necessary to stop the production. Chief Veterinarian Edward uh, Pavlovich Smychko. That's odd. Mm. So there's infected beef that they're just giving to people? Okay, there's nothing over here. Oh, I don't like this. What is this exactly? All right, well, let's go to the other side then. Why don't we? What are we gonna find? Hmm. Hmm. It's the hole that we just came through. What is this? An axe. 
Oh, Ugh, it's heavy. Sweet. Axe, it is old, but quite sharp. If one tries to chop wood with it, splinters are guaranteed. Anything else over here to the right that I can check out? Ooh, there is. Oh, I'm not a fan, not a fan. What is this here? Now one light bulb came on. <laughs> That's something. There's two more to go. Okay. Big metal door. Wonder what's behind it. Let's hope it's an exit. Now I need to figure out how to open it. <laughs> I mean, I doubt I'm gonna use an axe on this, but yeah, no. Okay, I flipped the switch. I don't really know what that's supposed to do for me. Other than maybe give me some slightly more light? This game's getting good. Um, Go back in here since I turned on the light, maybe? I know I need to break the, the things down. Okay, so let's do this. Axe! Crap! Wait, why, why are you yelling? Okay, yep. Oh, this is disgusting. Got a urinal. Uh, another exit. What is that? My god. The heck is that? Whatever this is, there's a lever sticking out of it. Mmm, not a fan. Disgusting. Oh, not a fan at all. Lever, it is apparent that it is part of some mechanism. You prefer not to think of the gross substance that you pulled it from. Why is it undulating? I don't even want to know. What is this gross thing? That's pretty disgusting. Let's go through the door. <laughs> Looks like a changing room. Let's have a look around. Got an envelope. Dear Edward Pavlovich, we are observing a strange meat defect already in the seventh batch during this quarter. We are sending samples from the seventh batch for testing. The ribs before and after wet salting. In this example, as in the whole half of the carcass, you can see the abnormal growth, roughness, and blackening of tissues throughout. Redness of uh, mesenteric fat, as well as persistent unpleasant smell. Unfortunately, this phenomenon is repeated over and over again. In this regard, I suggest stopping the production to clarify the cause. Chief Technologist A.A. Pozdenyakov. Okay, what's this? <clears throat> Scientists are grieving. Platon Timofeevich Samelnikov, a brilliant scientist, doctor of medical and biological sciences, professor of the Department of Human Physiology, director and founder of the Frunz Research Institute, passed away February 9th. A great loss, not only for the Institute, but also for the global scientific community. His colleagues concluded sadly. The Central Committee of the CPSU members expressed their deepest condolences to the professor's family and friends. Interesting. A key! Perfect! If only I would have known to which door it is. That's a good question. It's an old looking key. Rescue it. It is an unpleasant to touch and has a weird smell. It is unknown which door it opens. Ah! There's another lever. I like this place less and less. Yeah, this is getting a, getting a little weird. It's strange that there's this whole facility that nobody's been inside of. Locked. Let's use a rusty key. Oh, this is great. Got a nice chest. Ah. Lever time. Hmm. That's weird. Lita, I beg of you. I'm sorry. Please come back. I've made a horrible mistake. I beg of you. Give me one more chance. I know I've been acting like a jerk. Please forgive the fool that I am, Lita. She left me, and rightly so. Dear Lita, everything turned out exactly how you said it would. I can't sleep, eat, or work. I miss you so much. I miss the children too. I don't need a life without you. Lita. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Okay, what's up with this? Oh, okay. So this is something in the box. The director to the MV Frunz Research Institute of Applied Physics and Topological Space, Professor Samuel Nikov, PT. Urgent. Dear Platon Timofeyevich, for many years of cooperation between our companies, there have never been any delays. In relation to that, I was particularly shocked by the events of the past few days. By order of the Regional Executive Committee, more than heads of cattle, financing, the boarding school, the needs of the Institute, as well as a special article under uh, present circumstances, it's not possible. The Commission's decision to put, uh, puts many years of hard work and productive work at risk. 
I ask you inform immediately the regional committee as well as to speak at the upcoming meeting and personally influence the decision of the committee because a matter of national importance is under a threat. Director of the Order of Lenin and the Order of the Red Banner of Labor of a production association of Medi uh, Marian Meat Packing Industry, Meat Processing Plant 5, Grek Albert Pantelevich. Okay. Interesting. So there's something more uh, concerning going on in this place. It's like a whole meat packing plant mixed with scientific study all leading to the Red Party, it would seem. Okay. I guess we're going back, right? It's very dark. A little, a little spooked. Anything else with this? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go back to the, uh, the big door door. Hmm. I think those guys outside have gone quiet. I should get out of here as soon as possible. Before I do. Oh, I just need to go to the, the door. Sorry. It's open. Mm -mm. Finally, an exit. Okay. <laughs> good, 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 good. Ooh. Help. What? I'm here. Help me. Ooh, do I help or do I go? I'm gonna go. <laughs> I can't just leave. No! I need to check out what's going on there. <gasps> Not a fan. What if someone's in trouble? This is a spooky game, you know it's gonna be a demon. I'm here. Below. I'm here. The voice is coming from somewhere underneath. Oh no. Oh, I'm not a fan. Oh no. I'm not taking those stairs. I ain't taking stairs nowhere. It's over here. It's locked. Oh, of course. I I'm doing this. Hello? Is there anyone here? If no one responds immediately, you're just out. <laughs> Wait, where did the stairs even go? Oh, they're right here. Okay, so if I need to get back, if I'm like walking or running back, that's where I go. What the? Oh my god. Oh! Oh. Oh. Warm. You alive? What? What? <laughs> Is anyone going to answer? <laughs> Yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm, I'm listening. What? In the attic? What did you find? No way. It's already late. I was looking for you today, by the way. What? Okay. When? All right. In an hour at our spot. See ya. What's he got his panties in a bunch for? <laughs> Kasha. What, dad? Bring me the box from the cabinet. The blue one? Okay. Do you have your own pair of legs or something? <laughs> I love him. His lisp makes him so much better. Hmm. So I need to find a box for my dad? I, I don't want to stop playing this, by the way. I know I'm like quite a, a ways into this, but I think mom has lied down. Don't want to bother her. Yeah, I just want to keep playing this. This is great. I'm like very enwrapped in this story. Oh, what is this? Ever since my mom got ill, 
There's so many pelts around the house. <laughs> it's like a pharmacy in here. <laughs> Reeks of it too. Oh, so his dad is uh, abusing this one. It's freaking heavy. Box, shoe box. There's probably something important inside. It's better not to peek in. Father would be angry. For the interest of your father, I think you should peek in. Oh, what is this? Question and answers. What's your name? Ketha. Kesha. How old are you? Almost 12. Who do you want to become when you grow up? Killer. Crossed out. Banker. <laughs> Who do your parents... Uh, what do your parents do? Mom is a doctor. Dad is a businessman. Do you have a hobby? Yeah. Filling out dumb questionnaires. This is a sarcastic one. Uh, what would you change about yourself? Nothing. What do you love the most? Video games? Hanging out with friends? Who's your best friend? Leosha. What's your favorite animal? I don't like animals. How dare he? What are your favorite flower? Flowers are... <laughs> That's awful. Uh, what's your favorite book? Reading is for... <laughs> this guy is awful. Uh, do you have a dream to have 10 million bucks? <laughs> what are you afraid of? Insects. All right. I'm not, all of a sudden, I don't like Kesha that much. But his lisp is funny. Mm, hello, father. You got it. Thanks, son. Have you been to the doctors? Yeah. What did he say? Same as always. Mm. Guess it's good there's no changes. Son, mom's running out of her medication. Go to the pharmacy and get some. It's called ceftriaxone. Ceftriaxone. Perhaps you should write it down. I memorized it. Okay. Pop by the store too. Get some fruits, veggies, or something. You can get a treat for yourself as well. My wallet is in the hallway. In the drawer. All right, Dad. Thank you, Kesha. Hmm. Okay. Hi, Dad. Dad looks tired. <laughs> Dad's, Dad's, uh, he's doing a lot of work. All right, let's go back out. Is this the wallet? No, that's literally something I just read. <laughs> ah, it's in the drawer. Hmm. Take the wad of cash. There's the wallet. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to take all the other stuff, too. <gasps> Father's wallet. It's made of leather and has a very nice smell. It's usually full of cash. When you have it with you, you feel especially cool. Nice. Mom? Hmm. You're not going to turn into a monster, are you? Kesha, go do this. Dude, go do that. Like, I am some kind of errand boy for them. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, well, these flies. Get out of here. It's disgusting. Disgusting. What's this? <gasps> Coin. Not only is it old, but it is also soldered. Uh, soldered. S to the pavement. Oh, a coin. A dumb prank. <laughs> soldered. Soldered. The drugstore is already closed. Stupid drugstore. <laughs> Alright, do I just keep going? Hmm, I do. Um. Babushka! You're not gonna take my money, are you? Old woman. Young man! Oh, young man! Good thing I met you! Hi. Can you imagine what just happened? Silly old me! Threw everything into my cart. Now I can't lift up my groceries. And there's no one around. Help an old lady out, kiddo. I live nearby. Uh... You know, I'm kind of in a hurry. Also, it's pretty late. Oh god, what do I do then? Who's going to help me? Let's help her. Well... Okay, if it's not too far... Oh, thank you, young man. God bless you. The bags are in the alley to the right. Oh, this is a trap. <laughs> At the back of the store. Go on now. Oh, I'm so slow. I'll catch up to you. This is definitely a trap. I should have politely declined the babushka. Weird. She's got to be mad. Is the store even working? Or what? Looks a bit empty. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. More horror! <laughs> the environments of this game are just amazing. I love it. Hey, anybody here? Hmm, guess not. Okay, well, let's just, uh, is in the back storeroom, all right. 
No. Where is everybody? What the? Hey! What the F? Well, it locked me in. Uh-oh. Sugar cubes! Refined sugar pressed into cubes! You can put it in your tea or coffee. Drinking in a Coca-Cola. Mm. Hashtag not sponsored. You can put it in tea or coffee or eat it as a snack. You simply chew on this on days when you do not have a decent uh, dessert at home. Nice. Thanks, sugar cube. That's exactly what I needed in this time of need. Hey! Open it right now! Hey! It's not funny. Open the door. Uh-uh. <sighs> uh-uh. 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 Okay, do I just jump down here? Da -da -da. F. There go for my trip to the store. Uh, where am I? Oh man, we are all going to the same place here. It's all just a. Excuse me, tentacle. <laughs> not a fan. A dead end. Crap. I'm not a fan of that. Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's just keep on moving. Let's keep it on moving. Oh, that's... Oh, I hope it's the exit. It smells like crap. Stupid old lady, I hate you. Oh! Ew. What the? Mmm... Which crib is it? Um... Did I get knocked out? Where's my glam... Glatheth? Ah, uh, So dizzy. Okay. I'm finding my Glatheth. I'm getting the F out of here. Um... So, just real quickly. Uh, the game is... It's made by a small team. So, they definitely need to fix a few things on this. Right now, the screen is a quarter of the size of my screen with that event still in the background. Um, I'm stretching it out for you guys for the recording, but uh, yeah, it's, there's definitely a couple little little bugs here and there, but other than that, it's not too terrible, not too distracting, but it's definitely something that needs to be fixed. I'll, I'll definitely reach out to the devs to let them know about this. But yes, let's find our glasses. Glathith, Kesha Glathith. Okay. Mm, where are the glasses? There, so much better. <laughs> oh, okay, so now we're on a normal screen. It's no longer tiny. That's weird. Uh, okay. No clock. They're stuck. What do we have here? Calendar from two years ago. No one watched the time here. <laughs> this is cool. Eau de Cologne. It's water from Cologne. You can hardly call it authentic in comparison to Red Moscow and the other Soviet perfumes. This one has the least pleasant smell. Hmm. Got a purple padded door, I would assume. What's over here first? Oh, yes, what is this? Someone's military jacket with medals. Grandpa used to have a similar one. Hmm. Black and white photo. Men in military uniforms. <laughs> a woman in a white dress. Ugly as hell. <laughs> That's not very nice. Hmm. Some rotting fridge. Alright. Got the music box here. Ew! Stench! Did some something die here? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait to go over there. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wait to go over there. Got some cool sneakers, though. That's a plus. All right, what's up with the padded door? Locked. Of course. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I should have clicked that first. It's fine. It's fine. Check for any clickable items. Maybe there's a key before we get to the tentacle monster. Kombucha. It looks like a giant jellyfish in a jar. Seems to have been here for many weeks. Ew. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else before we get to the giant... Ooh, that's a big spider. What the F? If da 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 oh no 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 please no blood please no blood please let it not be blood oh wait what do I do now um I can't walk further 
I don't know if this is, if I'm not supposed to go any further, but I guess I'm just gonna walk back. Oh, oh dear. Oh my god! Oh. What was that? Masha, there you go. I think we're here. What a place. And it started to rain. Yeah. Also, we don't know for sure your bike is here. Oh, that's right, we're going back to this story. We still should check it out. Are you going? Or are you gonna stay here and get wet? I'm not going. And neither should you. Okay, whatever. Then wait here, under the hood. Thank you for showing me where this place was. I'll go on my own now. I'll be back soon. Dun, dun, dun. So, if I were a dirty street kid who stole a bike, where would I stash it? Hmm. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, before I go any further, sure you want to exit? Yes, I want to make sure. It, oh, I just completely quit out of the game. Uh, let me let me make sure that I can still kind of get back into this at the same point. Okay, perfect. So yeah, I can easily just get back to my last save point. Um, so this is great. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Now that we're going back to Xenia's storyline, and I'm excited to play through this again for a probably final part two of this. Um, Want to make sure that I'm not doing too small of parts since this is already a small game. Preferably, I'd want to do just like one long playthrough, but um, unfortunately, I just don't have enough time in my week to set aside three plus hours on a single uh, recording. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little story so far. I've been really enjoying it actually love the the whole environment of this the storytelling um the kind of pixelated point and click art style and very good mystery overall uh and very good like development of characters so far with it but i'm um, excited to play some more i'm sure you'll see another upload of this very very soon if not within the next day or two uh so keep an eye out for that but in the meantime if you enjoyed this one make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment down below on what you think of this so far. Um, these point and click horrors are always a different type of experience. So I'm curious to see how many of you are enjoying this or what you're thinking of it. I um, always like to try experimenting with a few different games on my channel outside of more uh, like realistic style or point uh, like actual FPS style horror games. I have plenty of those coming up here soon, but uh, like switching it up. And of course, as well, if you're not yet subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading videos. And as always, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.